Coffee. Coffee. What's in black? Yeah, everybody, how you doing? It's your man, Tim Black. Welcome to Coffee with Tim Black, and it is Friday. Happy Friday to you. Hope you are ready to get your weekend on. As for this show today, it's going to be brutal. Brutal, because I'm feeling really punchy today. Not to mention, I'm going to be talking about people. So, yeah, uh, they got it coming. Let's go. How many of you have seen Roland S. Martin's video to Bill O'Reilly? <laughs> he took Billo to the woodshed. Oh, you know what I'm saying? He brutalized this guy. See, here's let me set the stage, the stage for you. Bill O'Reilly made this video dissing Kaepernick, and he, he was like using history to do it, talking about how American patriotism and how America's always treated the blacks so well, and we've always tried to you know take care of the blacks, and you know, and this thing like you know as if black people are ungrateful for their stellar treatment in the United States. And you know, us Fox viewers who, who don't watch other types of media nor use the internet often, because we all know the average age of a Fox viewer is around 70. So he's talking to an audience that's deprived of like facts. So one of that smart and easily could have just picked him off, you know, just listing the fact that, hey, you know, African Americans have suffered such cruelty, inhumane treatment in the United States and absolutely strategical. It was, it was not an accident that black people have been held down in the United States, which was, was intentional. But he went further than that. No, he, he did his best Roland S. Martin. Roland was being Roland, and he just like picked him apart piece by piece, looking at factual data of history. All the way from the Revolutionary War, the Civil Rights Movement, and beyond. Jim Crow era, everything in between. It was just a total decimation. I mean, he eviscerated, he discombobulated, he terminated, he humiliated Bill O'Reilly at such a level, man, I don't even know how you come back from it. The only saving grace from Bill O'Reilly is hoping that more people don't see this video. And also knowing that even when you're a black guy and you're telling the truth about the establishment, just for some reason, it just doesn't get as much legs as if you were a white guy. It's just the way it is. If a white guy talks about black issues, it goes all crazy. Everyone wants to talk about it. But when a black guy talks about it, it's like, ah, sit down, man. Here they go complaining again. This is even in liberal circles. Even these so-called liberal people do it. It's like, oh, here we go. Another black guy. Okay. But you really need to check your facts. And then like a Tim Wise comes up and it's like, wow, I never thought of it that way. He's got a good point. We should do better. We should think about it. We should listen to him. Roland S. Martin, I'm a big fan of what you do. Thank you so much for handing Bill O'Reilly his comeuppance in a major way, brother. I appreciate it. Keep doing what you're doing. Now, if I can just get you off the hill of E train, we'll really be good, brother. Pound it out. Next story. Former Governor Jesse Ventura. Come on, baby. He just body slammed all of the critics of Colin Kaepernick in one swift, I don't know, man. What was Jesse's move? I don't even remember it, man. But Jesse just went to town. And it was really brief, but it was very consequential. Because look, Jesse's a former Navy SEAL. So anyone who says that Jesse Ventura is not a patriot needs to kiss, kiss his bald spot. Or kiss my bald spot. Because see, Jesse Ventura said that, look, I have no problem with what Colin Kaepernick did. In fact, I support what he did because I support his right to do it. Part of the reason why I am a veteran and I fought is to give you that right. Yeah. And he said, plus, who's he harming anyway? It's a peaceful protest. And then Jesse Ventura went into talking about how when he was governor of Minnesota, they tried to like kneecap him by pushing forth legislation that would demand that all elementary students support uh, salute the flag. Jesse said he voted against it, not only voted against it, he vetoed it. He vetoed it because he feels that patriotism should not be mandated. Patriotism is some way you express it, that's up to you. And if you express it, that's up to you. People want to make this Germany, Nazi Germany if they can. Jesse Ventura, man, you've been right about a couple of things, brother, and I respect that. 
Sometimes you get a little Alex Jonesy on me. It kind of messes me up. But then you come back. And just the fact that you took down Pierce Morgan that time, man. <laughs> well, I'll just say, yeah, you always have my my back, and you know, I always have your back, and you know, I got your six. Base, how low can you go? Jimmy Fallon had a show last night with Donald J. Trump. People are giving Jimmy Fallon flack because he didn't grill Donald Trump. In fact, they're pissed because they say Jimmy Fallon should have been harder on Donald Trump. Jimmy Fallon, investigative reporter? No, he's not. No, he's not. He's not. He's just he's just a guy who likes, he's a fun guy. He's a, he's a, <laughs> he's that guy. You expect him to do your job? Huh? Huh? You expect him to do your job? Okay, here, here's the thing. When Hillary Clinton goes on these shows, who grills her? Huh? Who grills her? Now, I'm not, look, look, I'm not a Trump fan. I'm not. In fact, I'm going to get on him a little bit later. I'm not a Trump fan, but I am not a Hillary fan. I am only a fan of one thing, and one thing only, the truth, all right? And the truth is, you, if, if no one can complain about late night talk or late night shows being more in the can for one candidate than Hillary. Hillary gets the, gets the, oh, please, Hillary, oh, Hillary, oh. Here's the thing, guys. I mean this with all sincerity. Don't send a late night talk show comedian host to do a journalist job and don't expect that. If you're not going to hold Chris Matthews and Chris Hayes and Joy Reid and Anderson Cooper and Wolf Blitz and all these guys accountable when they are talking to presidential candidates other than Donald Trump, then do not hold Jimmy Fallon and Jimmy Kimmel and Larry Wilmore accountable for not doing what you think they should. He's there for jokes. You know who went on uh, Jimmy Fallon's show two days ago? A guy who could make fart sounds sound like music. And that's not true, but see, you weren't surprised when I said it because it's not a serious show. But then again, neither is CNN, MSNBC, Fox, um, NPR, and so many others. Okay, now here's the big story. It's been trending on Twitter. Twending. It's been trending on Twitter. I'm going to leave that in. I'm not editing it. Bertha. Hashtag Bertha. Hashtag Bertharism. And it's been this debate that seems like mainstream media has decided that they're going to forget that Hillary Clinton had a big part in the Bertha movement. But no, they're blaming it all on Trump. And I agree that Trump has the lion's share of the Bertha movement. It's like this is the guy, like, like Hillary invented bread and then... Trump learned to make like, he made like the first cold cut, the first submarine sandwich, then he made French toast out of it. I mean, that's the idea. You get it? And when I say Hillary, I mean her campaign. Look, look, I'm not one of these people who believe that when something gets leaked, that leaked out of a campaign, that Hillary didn't know about it. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't believe that. I think leaks are intentional unless it's WikiLeaks. All right? It's just not a bathroom pipe. Something comes out of your campaign that hurts the other candidate. Don't you tell me that wasn't strategic. So this is what I mean, guys. Back in 2008, regards to all this birth of stuff, it really truly started when the idea came that Obama may be Muslim. And who started that? Who started the idea that Obama could be a Muslim? Hillary Clinton's campaign started. They're the ones who leaked the photo with Obama in the turban. And then when Hillary was asked on TV, national TV in an interview, she was asked, hey, well, you, you know, you, you do believe that Obama's a Christian, right? And she was like, well, that's what he says, you know, that's what he says. You know? And they're like, no, 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 you, you, no, no, you believe him. He said it. Do you believe him? Well, yeah, I believe he said it. You know, I, I, I have no way of knowing. You know, so she started the doubt about Obama. He, he's not like us. One of these things is not the same. All right, so when Trump picked it up and, and carried the mantle of racism, ooh, I got the racism. Here I go with racism. Here we go. Here, when he did that, it was just an extension of what Hillary did in 08. Now, Trump took it to catastrophic heights. 
Oh man, he rode the wave of hate with the Bertha movement as far as it could go. In fact, he launched himself on the stage politically using the hate and vitriol of the far right movement. Okay, so no, 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 don't get me wrong. I'm blaming Hillary for starting with the Muslim crap and then Trump came in with the, you know, with the, with the, with the, he's not American and show me the birth certificate and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. They, but see, they both, they both did it. They both said disparaging, horrible things. And if I can't bring up super predators, and if I can't bring up the, 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 the three strike law, and I can't bring up what you did in Haiti, where's the Haiti money, Bill? Bill Clinton, Clinton Foundation, where's the Haiti money? We can't talk about the Clinton Foundation. I can give you a number of uh, press people, journalists who have lost their jobs even criticizing the Clintons. Who's lost their job criticizing Trump? Who's lost their job criticizing Bernie Sanders? <laughs> nobody, nobody. But you want to tell me that Trump is the most corrupt one? Come on, guys. All right. See, this show could go on and on, but you know what? This segment going on, I'm going to stop it there. There it is. I'm done. I'm done with that. I'm done. Yes, Trump is a horrible, he was horrible. It may be horrible, horrible, horrible. True. But Hillary's horrible too. They both did it. So if you're mad at Trump, you got to be mad at Hillary. Nobody's hands is clean. I don't care. Look, vote. I know you're going to vote for who you're going to vote for. All I'm saying is don't be delusional and, 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 and convince yourself or lie to yourself and fool yourself into believing that if you're a Hillary supporter, her hands are clean, or that if you're, if you're, if you're a Trump supporter, that your hands are clean. Because both of y'all hands got dirt on them. Yeah, both, both, both of y'all. Last story. So my last story is probably going to get me in trouble. But see, I don't care because I like trouble. But, but trouble for a good reason. Now, I saw a video where it was a scathing critique of some online independent, supposedly the most progressive, independent, biggest show, whatever. Because think about this. How can you call yourself a progressive if you are one? for the big banks running a pipeline through sacred land that could potentially contaminate the water. Two, how could you call yourself a progressive and support the most progressive candidate we've seen since FDR, Bernie Sanders, and then in the middle of it, jump ship and jump on the corporatist bandwagon and try to get millions of people to follow you there and then berate them for not understanding how important it is to abandon the ship. And three, how can you call yourself a progressive if you persuade your viewing population not to vote green, not to vote third party, that they must, if they have since, uphold the two-party system and its corporatist, lying, uh, sellout, um, in the pocket of Wall Street candidate. I just gave you three reasons. Three reasons, three fundamental reasons why you cannot call yourself a progressive if you do that. I mean, come on, conservatives don't get to go, I'm a conservative, and then go, but I, love, I want you to, I want to get rid of guns. I want to get rid of guns, and I want to, I'm pro-choice, and let's go green. Like, you can't do that. Like, no conservative can get away with it. So-called progressives allow other so-called progressives to be on all sides of issues and still hold up the progressive flag. We are progressive. We are liberal. We, you know what you are, you are full of sh All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. Check this out, guys. Tonight is Freedom Friday. That means you get five minutes to call into the show and say whatever's on your mind. I had my time to rant, now you get your time to rant. I hope you use it. Also, go to TimBlackTV.com for all my stuff. And if you can, pick up a t-shirt like this one, the Tim Black TV Show, or pick yourself up a mug like this one, Tim Black TV Show. I also got my big wolf pack, Tim Black's wolf pack. A wolf pack that's growling on the establishment. Also. Uh, get my cornbread stuff. I got like, don't let nobody take your cornbread attire. It's all good stuff, man. Shout out to everybody who tuned into my show. My first ever, I was thinking, 
show it was great i loved it thank you for allowing me to do it and have yourself a safe weekend if i don't see you tonight but i am gonna see you tonight right right okay all right that's it guys i gotta go get this video prepped and uploaded so you'll have something to check out before the show tonight and like i always say don't you let nobody take your cornbread fake progressives coffee coffee Tim Black.